You know, when you have the heart of a worshiper, you bring beauty wherever you go. When we gather together and we worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, there is a beautiful fragrance, if you will, spiritual fragrance that gets enveloped in this place. If you are feeling despondent, if you are feeling overwhelmed, if you are feeling separated by God, from God by anything or in any way, praise Him. Praise Him. Paul was in the deepest, darkest part of the Philippian jail, chained, expecting the worst, and what did, what did they start to do, he and Silas? They started singing. Started singing worship songs. The Lord freed them, which is such a picture of what praise does in our lives. It frees us from the things of this world that wants to wrap its chains around us and hold us back. It sounds like, how could that work? Okay, I don't want to be a Pharisee and criticize what God clearly says is we are to praise Him. And there's more talk about praise than a lot of other stuff that we think about in the Scriptures. Praise. But Pastor, I, I don't know how to praise. Okay, buy yourself a... I don't know. Does anybody buy CDs anymore besides me? No. Okay. Uh, ask whatever her name is, that is the uh, spirit of the machine in your house. <laughs> Alexi, play, whatever. Point being, there is praise music that, can, that you can, okay, put on some praise music and not just, okay, now I, now I can do the dishes. Well, there's some nice music on No, sit down and listen to it and engage with the Lord in that. Do that. Open the book of Psalms and, and pick one and read it. And read it like it's you talking to the Lord. Just tell the Lord how thankful you are. But pastor, I'm, 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 I'm in trouble. No, but there are things to be thankful for. Yeah. That's the will of God in Christ Jesus for you, is to in all things give thanks. And I'm telling you, there's freedom in that. It's not a magic genie. It's not a little amulet you can rub and suddenly everything's all right. But I'm telling you right now that in those times of abiding, it's sitting down and supping with the Lord. It's worshiping Him for who He is. If you can't think of anything to be thankful for that He has done for you, praise Him for who He is. Because there's enough to praise Him in that for eternity. Amen. So, do that and watch the chains be dropped and watch the fragrance of the Lord fill the house you're in and people be affected by that. 